well, this was a special delivery. Well, I mean, it was delivered by special delivery, but I don't mean that. Hello, YouTube world. Welcome, welcome. If this is the first time you are seeing me, then hello, my name is KD. I am a medical patient here in the UK, and I provide information to patients like yourself from my experience. But if you're not new, welcome back, love. So, as I said in the little intro there, this was a special delivery. I had a delivery this week and I was the most excited I have been in a very, very long time. And it wasn't because of the stuff that we're reviewing today, right? It wasn't because of the hexa that was in my package. No, no. For those of you who don't know, who haven't been around this channel for as long as the story has been and I've been telling it, Hindu Kush by Chiron was literally my favourite strain. It was the most effective strain I've ever had, point blank, period. And they took it away. Like, it just went last year. I couldn't get it. It was either out of stock, it was discontinued. And then when it did come through, some certain pharmacies, my clinic didn't work with the pharmacy, so I couldn't actually get it. But lo and behold, when I was searching for my prescription, it turns out that it was on the Montu portal. So those of you who are with Alternaleaf, if you didn't know, Hindu Kush is, is there. You can get it. You can get it now. And so I ordered myself Hindu Kush along with this Hexacan, Hexa 05. And this is a Miracle Alien Cookies cultivar. It's a hybrid. Um, and I will reveal to you later on as the reason why I chose this, because there's probably quite a lot of people that are like, hmm, I wonder why, wonder why she chose that. You know, it's probably not one of the top ones up there, because I will tell you that this is a very, very Marmite strain. I do believe so. I think this is a 50-50 split between whether people are going to like this or not. So I got my package delivered. I got 20 grams of Hindu Kush because I knew that I was just going to fucking blow through 10 grams pretty quick. So I got 10 grams of the Hexa 05. I don't know whether I did the right thing or not, but obviously I opened the Hindu Kush first. Without a doubt, come on, I was obviously going to do it, right? So I don't know whether opening that first skewed my view on the hexa and i'll tell you why and that is because of this so this is the terpenes for the hexa 05 now those of you who know me will know exactly why i picked this right you, you'll know exactly why i picked this it literally is 50 percent limonene and the reason why i was kind of comparing them is because if you look at our hindu kush you will see that it is here 50%. But I have found out something about myself, which I would not have known had I not have got this hexa. So let's start. Upon opening it, it is one of these tubs, right? So it's not in your packets. You're still getting one of these tubs. And within opening it, you can immediately tell that it does not have the hit that other strains do. I mean, even just compare it to the Hindu Kush, right? That's not a massive 420, lot 420, you know, green carrot, all the auroras and all that. Like, they're not, it's not a massive pungent. It's not meant to be. But in regards to the first hit, this was so much more subtler than I was expecting, to be honest, with a terpene profile like that with 50% limonene I, I genuinely was expecting more of a hit I would say that it's very dry as well okay so when you look at the um, YouTube short that will be connected to this video via a pinned comment and in the description you will see how dry it is and again in comparison to the Hindu Kush and just other strains really you have that extra little bit of squish you know, you're able to see that the, there are a little bit more denser. You know, when you squish it, it doesn't all fucking crumble in your hands. So there's that. There was quite a lot of shake um, in comparison to others. I mean, you know, I wouldn't con necessarily consider it a lot, but it's 
in comparison to other strains and other flowers that I'd had, even out of these tubs. There was a fair few bong amounts, you know. Normally you can get like one time I remember getting a review and there was like one leaf, one solitary tiny little like leaf that was there, no other shake. So in comparison to that, you know, you can see that there was definitely a lot more. Going deeper into the actual flower, and I, I will be medicating um, again with it and coming back to you, but it has been a day since having it. So I was able to uh, give you the day and night effect because I wanted to smoke this during the day and then also at night, not just for the Hindu Kush, because I wanted to make sure that whether or not it was effective, right? And I think this is a Marmite strain. Um, I will be medicating again so I can refresh my memory, but I really do think this is a Marmite strain. So it's got a lot more flavour medicating than it does out the tub, for sure. You definitely do get that limonene. You can definitely tell, like, there's no doubt about it. There is a fruity, lovely lemon limonene flavour that comes out usually on the out pull. But I don't know if many people are going to like this, purely because my terpene profile has been very much the citrus profile, right? So I like limonene quite a lot. However, even though it has got 50% limonene, there's also 50% carrier filing. And the difference between these two is massive, and I didn't realise that until medicating with this against the Hindu Kush. So I am going to film the short for you now. I'm gonna medicate again, just so that I can get that flavor, get that effect and just remind myself again, why I think that this is a Marmite strain and why a few people are probably gonna disagree with me. Later. Okay, I'm back. And yes, as suspected, I was right. So it does taste a lot better than the look of it and obviously the like minor smell, but it's not as powerful as some of the other strains out there. Now I know that's kind of a cliche thing to say, but also off the back of that, it was enjoyable. Like it still is enjoyable, do you know what I mean? Like there was no, Oh, I don't like that immediately. There was none of that. It was a very subtle, it is a very subtle, flavorful um, strain, I would say that. However, I don't know if it's gonna be enough for some people, um, especially myself. So having looking again back at Medbud, the price did go down um, from £7.50 to £5.50. I can't scroll up because it's a big old picture of a flower. Um, so it says £7.50 to £5.50. Now, I wouldn't pay £7.50 for this. I wouldn't pay £7.50. I definitely would get it again at £5.50. However, that would only be if Hindu Kush was not in stock. And when I said that I've learned something about myself, what it is, is alpha pinene and limonene these are my go-tos, like they have to be. The, the, the difference with these is the fact that there's 50% of this karyophyllene, 50%. But on the Hindu Kush, it's only 15 and it's, le it's levered with the alpha pinene, which for me, that's the extra push, right? That's the extra kick that this does not give. I do like it though, like I do like it. I definitely would get it again. And it's worth getting it if you like these terpenes right i would say that it's very very limony very very citrusy if you're somebody that does not like citrus do not get this because it's very flavorful in that respect also it is again very subtle uh although it says that it's a 25 percent i don't feel it is I, I don't feel it is i know that they're not obviously what they say they are but if we're going by a chart of you know higher and lower I'd put this on the lower end, more of a 21, something like that, uh, just so that you can kind of gauge when, when they say 25. I wouldn't expect that whatsoever. I really wouldn't. But it's a nice, enjoyable smoke. It really is. So it's one of those ones where I think it's going to be very, very equal on either side of 
I like I really like it or no, I don't like it at all. So really interested to see which side you're on because I'm on the I like it side, but not for seven pound fifty. I do recommend this if you're somebody that likes the terpenes as I showed on the profiles from Medbud. But other than that, I would like to know, because I can't remember, would you guys like to see a review on the Hindu Kush? Because I'm pretty sure that it went away before I started doing these reviews. So I'm not sure. I, I, I don't think I have. But if I have, would you like another review um, of, of me a year later after getting me hands on some of this? And what do I think about it? Um, it's a £6.50 strain. So in, you know, regards to the Hexa, it's £1 more. But I would definitely advise paying the extra £1 if you like, if you like your Hindu Kush. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate you guys liking these videos. They seem to be your favourite series on my channel. And obviously, I really enjoy doing these for you. So if you enjoy this content and you got value, please hit the like button. And if you vibe with me, then hit the subscribe button. But other than that, I don't know when the next review will be in. Unless you want the Hindu Kush one, of course. But I will see you whenever the hell I do the next video. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye. And I'm thankful, and I'm thankful for the fans that love the listeners. Yeah, and I'm thankful, and I'm thankful even for the ones that don't believe in us.